BTCL or Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited is the largest telecommunications company in Bangladesh. The company was founded as the Bangladesh Telegraph and Telephone Board BTTB following Bangladesh's independence in 1971. On July 1, 2008 the BTTB became a public limited company and was renamed as BTCL. The Bangladesh government initially owned all BTCL shares, but stated it would sell the shares to the public the following year. The value of BTCL is estimated to be at 15,000 crore takas, 150 billion takas. BTCL has a total of 12,636 officials and staff. BTCL provides landline telephone services in Bangladesh's urban areas, including domestic long-distance calling and international services as well as Internet services. In 2004, the Bangladesh government issued a number of PSTN licenses to private companies, but they were barred from providing services in the lucrative Dhaka market which accounts for the majority of the nationwide market. The monopoly held by BTCL was broken when other operators started to receive licenses from 2007. Topic: History. Topic: Early history. The Telegraph branch under the Posts and Telegraph Department was created in 1853 in the then British India and was regulated afterwards under the Telegraph ACT 1885. The Telegraph branch was reconstructed in 1962 in the then East Pakistan as Pakistan Telegraph and Telephone Department. Post-independence Following Bangladesh's independence, the Bangladesh Telegraph and Telephone Department was set up under the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications in 1971. This was converted into a corporate body named Telegraph and Telephone Board by promulgation of Telegraph and Telephone Board Ordinance, 1975. Pursuant to a 1979 ordinance, the Telegraph and Telephone Board was converted into a government board named the Bangladesh Telegraph and Telephone Board BTTB. <laughs> Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited On 1 July 2008, BTTB transformed to a government-owned public limited company under a new name of Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited BTCL. BTCL has launched a 24-hour call center for customers. Customers in Dhaka will be able to call the number and reach the BTCL for enquiry, according to a company media release. BTCL runs a red telephone exchange for the VIPs which is secured and always live. Topic Internet services BTCL provides dial-up Internet access in all 64 districts of the country, making it the most accessible Internet service provider in the country. As of January 2009 its total dial-up subscriber is 32,433. Since the beginning of 2007 BTCL have improved its dial-up Internet service for better customer satisfaction. It also handles the BD domain. BTCL provides consumer level broadband Internet services under the branding of BCUBE. The service is provided through ADSL2 Plus technology. BTCL has outsourced its BCUBE sales and customer support to EMEM Systems Limited, System and Services Limited, SSL, and Sysview Technologies Limited. 
Till now BTCL have got about 15,000 customers. BTCL's monthly income about 19 million takas per month from this service. The state-owned telephony firm will develop a broadband wireless access network across the country soon with Korean help to provide uninterrupted upgraded services to its clients, officials said. Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited (BTCL) in cooperation with Korean Economic Development Cooperation Fund (EDCF) will establish the modern network. Topic: Satellites. Bangladesh's first satellite on Earth's orbit will have 40 transponders to provide telecommunications and broadcast services. U.S.-based Space Partnership International has already started designing the satellite and will also help launch it under a contract signed with the government. The two ground stations that will control the satellite will be built at Ghazapur's Joydebpur and Rongamadi's Betbunya on the land owned by Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited (BTCL). The government plans to have the satellite, named after the father of the nation Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, sent to space by June 2017. Topic. Bill defaults BTCL Managing Director Eng Mafaz Adin Ahmed said it undertook a scheme to realize the outstanding phone bills from government and private agencies, and general customers by giving them five to six months. If this flexible approach fails to realize the dues, we'll take legal action against the defaulters, he added. Mafas also said they were trying to realize outstanding phone bills of 1,062 crore takas, 10.62 billion takas from different international call carriers through legal procedure. According to BTCL statistics, government agencies owe 102.46 crore takas, semi-GOVT organizations 12.10 crore takas, private agencies 313.18 crore takas, Bangladesh Railway 1.12 crore takas, and newspapers, agencies 1.17 crore takas to BTCL. Besides, 247.65 crore takas have been due as some telephone lines were disconnected due to non-payment of bills. Moreover, 15 foreign private carriers prepaid system have a total of 10.93 crore takas due to BTCL, while 52 foreign private carriers postpaid system 989.11 crore takas and 26 national foreign carriers 73.55 crore takas. BTCL Director International Sharifuzaman said international calls enter Bangladesh using BTCL's network and the call carriers have to pay 1 taka and 50 paise cent per minute. <laughs> Graft and controversy Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited (BTCL) suffered revenue loss of at least 2,000 crore takas in last six years due to corruption, revealed a TIB study April 31, 2014. Transparency International Bangladesh (TIB) identified tampering with the BTCL's international call records as one of its major corrupted areas. Bangladesh's state-owned telecommunications company is refusing to reconnect a British firm to the country's network despite having been ordered to do so by the courts. London-based Zamir Telecom has been cut off from the Bangladesh network since March, causing it significant financial damage. 
Bangladesh's controversial telecoms minister, Abdul Latif Sadiq, has admitted giving the order for the disconnection of Zamir Telecom from the Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited BTCL. This was in breach of a 2010 court order overturning a similar situation. Zamir Telecom successfully challenged BTCL in a Dhaka court in early May when judges ordered the firm's reconnection within 36 hours. But the court order was ignored again. This is purportedly because of an ongoing arbitration process between BTCL and Zamir Telecom over disputed invoicing, despite judges saying the connection must be maintained alongside the talks. The Anti-Corruption Commission on August 25, 2013 approved filing four cases against 22 people, including Managing Director Sam Kalim Ullah and three other former Managing Directors of Bangladesh Telecommunications Company Limited, in connection with embezzling over 5.75 billion takas through a legal voice over Internet Protocol business. ACC Commissioner M. Shahabuddin said the Commission had approved filing the cases at a recent meeting. Since we have found their involvement in the graft allegation, the Commission has taken the decision. BTCL Managing Director Sam Kalim Ullah, former Managing Directors S. M. Kabaruzaman, Afsar Ullah Lam, and A. M. Abu Sayed Khan, former member Maintenance and Operation Muhammad Tafiq, former Divisional Engineers Ranel Chakma and Habibur Rahman Pramanik, Ericsson Bangladesh Limited's Contract Manager Esif Jahid, Relation Manager Nasrul Islam, and Engineer Masrurul Hakim will be made accused in the cases. ACC officials said the BTCL officials in connivance with Ericsson Bangladesh Limited embezzled the money by erasing incoming international call minutes from call detail record of ITX5 and ITX7. See also Telecommunications in Bangladesh <laughs>